The fact is... <sighs> I have still got a lot of work to do here, Jenna. I mean, she is living in the house with Philip. She's there. She's in the house. She's going to make the most of that. You heard what she said to yes, me. Yes, I did. And I also saw the way you reacted to it. Now she's definitely going to go off and do whatever it takes to get her ex-husband back just to stop you from having She would him. have done that anyway. She'll do anything to get him back. And if you don't approve of my methods, that's fine, because I'm certainly not very happy about them either. But you know, when you're backed into a corner, you do whatever you have to to get out. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, it's just that the amount of time we've worked together, and as well as we now know each other, you still surprise me. Yeah, I know. I react too fast, too strongly. Yes, yes, you, you do, actually. But it, before you go any further, you better clean up your act next time around, because you nearly got caught red-handed by that nurse. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so I'm not as slick as you are, but I'm learning Thank that. you. <sighs> yes, right. Would you like a couple of lessons for next time round? Well, thank you for oh. the offer, but hopefully I won't need them. Hopefully. Hopefully we've already got enough to start with. Beth? Beth, honey. Um, I'm glad you haven't left yet. I was uh, just getting ready to leave. Well, yes, I wanted to apologize for my silly ruse that I used. It's okay. No, it was wrong of me to trick you into talking to Marjorie as my friend and not telling you she was a psychiatrist. Don't worry about it, Mom. But I do worry, honey. I worry because I love you, because you're my daughter, just the way, just the way you worry about Lizzie. Mothers just worry about their daughters. No, I'm fine. Yes, physically, you're fine. What but... is wrong with me? isn't going to be fixed by a shrink or a lecture. I need Philip back. And if you won't help me get him, then at least have the good grace to stay out of my way. I don't deserve that. Not you are the one that pulled that shrink thing on me. Because I think you need to talk to someone, There Beth. is nothing wrong with me wanting to put my family back together. Nothing sick about wanting Lizzie to have the kind of life that I never had. Oh, you certainly don't have to remind me of that. No, well, maybe I do, Mother. Maybe I do. See, I never had a father who was there for me or any man that I could count on thanks to you. Because you married a man who beat us and who raped me. Why, why are you bringing this up right don't, you, now? You don't, you don't want to talk about that anymore? You want to pretend that that never happened, Mom? No, I don't want to pretend it didn't happen, Beth. Of course I don't. But I thought you and I had worked on this. I thought we were able to put it in the past. We tried to put that behind us. Yeah, well, some things, Mom, don't stay in the past. You know, some things are really hard to forget. Sweetheart. Believe me. Until the day I die, I'll regret more than anything in the world bringing Bradley Rains into our lives, okay? Please. I believe you, Mom. I believe you. But you see, I am going to have to live with that every day for the rest of my life. And the best way that I can deal with those bad memories is to give Lizzie the kind of life that I never had. To give her a life with her own father, with two good, decent parents that she can count on. Don't tell me that you don't understand that. Yes, I understand it. Of course I understand it. I tell you, I, I never forgive myself for what you went through in that childhood of yours. It was awful. But you cannot use that as an excuse to do whatever you want. Watch me. Hope you're buckled up, Mr. Lewis. Things are going to get a lot worse before they get better. My recommendation is to put down and wait this storm out. No! No, this is a matter of life and death. We're not stopping. Do you understand me? We're not stopping. Okay. Hang on. If we're lucky, I'll have you there in about half an hour. Thank you. Corona Keys. That's a 
Florida Keys. You remember the Florida Keys, don't you? That's where you lost Reva once before. Oh, come on, Reva. You're tough. You can handle whatever Annie throws at you. Thank <laughs> you. 